Hello YouTube, my name's Rafael Eduardo. You probably know me as Ted Cruz. You've most likely heard that just recently I bowed out of the GOP presidential race, despite the Lord God having told me on numerous occasions that I was going to win. Now it's up to you, my supporters, which you would rather admit, that the Lord God was lying or that I am just full of doo-doo and never actually speak with the Lord. Now, since I have suspended my campaign, I'm going to be having a lot more free time, and uh, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with it. But then I had an idea, or as I like to call it, I spoke with the Lord. And I decided when I spoke with Him that I was going to start uh, daily blogging here on the Internet, like, uh, like a lot of the kids do these days. Now, my wife Heidi is holding the camera, and we're just going to... Give this a shot. Heidi, hold the, hold the camera straight. Oh, All right. Sorry, Ted. Yeah, well, better be. I'll start out this first episode by uh, showing you around my lovely Christian home. Follow me, everybody. <laughs> Let's go. Now, come this way. We've got two lovely standard poodles, and they love me very much. This is, this is man's best friend. Now come back. If you'll follow me this way, I'm teaching myself some music now. Don't worry, not rock and roll. Just um, some good old classic hymns. Jesus loves me, yes I know, for the Bible tells me so. Time to walk you through my morning routine. Um, I'm a much less busy man now, as you know, so I can kind of go at my own pace these days. and. Uh, uh, first thing I do when I get out of bed, I go in the shower, do uh, my fair share of weeping. Ted, are you in here? Heidi, Heidi, get out! I told you, this is my special oh, Teddy oh. time! Don't put this in the vlog! And then I come out here and I brush my teeth. And I wet the brush and can't stop until I've sung the Lord's Prayer three times. You know, not running for president anymore really isn't so bad. It's given me a lot of time to focus on home life and, and family activities such as cooking and gardening and I'm even taking up arts and crafts. This is Bernie Sanders. What I like to do to take out my frustration is that I picture this round, bulbous, pathetic little object as a certain friend of mine whose name rhymes with Donald Trump. Oh, God! It isn't working! I'm still very, very frustrated! <laughs> wait, wait, the vlog! Heidi, the vlog! It may not have made it all the way to the White House, but I'm still very proud of the grassroots campaign that we ran together. It actually inspired me to get into the more literal, literal grassroots, if you will. <laughs> it's a little gardening joke. Um, as you can see, this is my project here. It has the potential to maybe bloom into something at some point. Um, this was Carly Fiorina's project when she was over uh, discussing the campaign. She, she planted this. <laughs> it's pretty funny. She, uh, she ruins everything she touches. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to clarify something. When I say grassroots campaign, I will admit that even though your voices are powerful. There's no such thing as a grassroots campaign that hasn't received some kind of help from super PACs or similar corporate organizations. It just doesn't exist. Looks like Donald Trump has been saying mean things about me on the internet again. He writes, You want to know the only difference between Ted Cruz and Grandpa Munster? One of them looks like a creepy vampire and the other one is Grandpa Munster. Here's a new one. You want to know the only difference between Ted Cruz and that Kevin guy from The Office? One of them's a doughy loser who's a disgrace at his job and sucks with numbers, and the other one is Kevin from The Office. I'm noticing a pattern here. And finally he tweets, You want to know the only difference between Ted Cruz and this sad blobfish? Nothing. Ted Cruz Sin, sin, sin. Get out of here. Get out of here. Now, those are both boy little kitties, and I w we will not tolerate that here at the Cruz house. That does not occur in nature. 